My name is Professor Yomiro from Medicine Department, and I'll be giving a very short talk on stroke. Well, I'll start by uh, defining stroke as an ancient disease, which of course is a reminiscent of the biblical book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 18, that talks about 666. Well, 6 is of relevance when it comes to stroke uh, for several reasons. If you spell the word stroke, okay, uh, there's six letters there. If I want to stretch that further, I can say one out of every six individuals in a lifetime will come down with stroke. Because the incidence had increased, this had increased to one out of four. And every six seconds, someone is developing stroke somewhere in the world. In the, again, because of the increase in the epidemic, this has also increased to one uh, every three seconds. Uh, every six seconds, someone is dying of stroke somewhere in the world. And on an annual basis, six million people uh, will die from stroke, whatever we do. Six million people will become disabled, and six million people will survive uh, stroke. Uh, if I want to stretch it further, if per eventually develop stroke, it takes six weeks to six months uh, for optimal recovery. If I want to still stretch further, I also will say that uh, there's something we call endovascular thrombectomy. You want to retrieve the clot. This must be done with an aspect score of more than six and a HSS score of more than six. The patient must present less than six hours. Though we now know that that could be extended uh, to 16 hours, then to three, and then to four hours with a done study. Uh, so going further, uh, we have increasing prevalence of stroke in the black skin. Um, the male factor is a risk factor, and the, the truth is, in the black skin, there's that enhanced genetic predisposition uh, to stroke. The stroke we have, of course, is more severe, and then the outcome is also poorer as well. And then, of course, our stroke occurs a bit earlier, about 15 years uh, compared with the, with the Caucasian. The risk factors to stroke, they're modifiable, and they're non-modifiable. The non-modifiable, of course, is your black skin, the age, of the patient, the sex, amongst other age, as a standard on the risk factor to stroke. Then going further for the non-modifiable disease conditions, the five optimal ones, uh, which include hypertension, uh, diabetes, uh, high cholesterol or dyslipidemia, and then when you have exposure to uh, smoking as well as um, gas inhalation as well. And they do so, of course, are modified. Uh, in terms of the increasing epidemic, it's partly because of advancing science technology and also coupled with the fact that what we call modernization complex or technology transition. I mean, people now aging, of course, the age is increasing, population is increasing, there's unchecked, unbalanced industrialization, urbanization, as well as lifestyle modification, more alcohol, no smoking and then less uh, physical activity amongst others. In terms of uh, looking at how stroke will arise, we look at it in terms of three P's, okay, the passage, the passenger, and then the power. So generally there will be occlusion or blockage of the passage, okay, which of course the way forward to that is to either give a clot buster or you do what they call an vascular thrombectomy, you remove the clot, or you actually I will give a uh, Blood thinner, like give aspirin. In terms of the passage in the vascular, uh, there's the endovascular um, endarterectomy, which could be done, and also you could also could give statins. Then for the power of the brain to regenerate, you know the brain cells can regenerate now, so we could give the indications like neurohead and system neuroplasticity. Then in terms of the feature, but we need to educate the masses. You can look at uh, stroke in terms of uh, either you look at what is called B fast, okay? B is balance loss, E is high vision loss, F is facial asymmetry, A for arm weakness, S for speech difficulty, and T says time. Time is break. You have 200 billion neurons in the brain, and every one minute you waste, you're losing 2 million neurons. That's about 12 kilometers, 5 hours. So time is of a sense when it comes uh, to stroke. Now remember that you can remember how to spell stroke. It has therefore. Uh, can the patient smile? See, can the patient talk? Uh, can the patient raise the hand? 
And if paraventure develops stroke, then many complications that we set in. We remember this again by saying the 10 Ds. The intent is this uh, death, one out of three, stability, one out of three, depression, one out of three, uh, dementia, well, one out of three uh, after a second stroke, one out of ten after the first stroke, then you have delirium, then you have this feet here, they have a problem with swallowing, then they have dehydration, they develop the cubitus ulcers, they develop deep vein thrombosis, they develop dysphysia, and they have uh, um, seizures as well. Prevention of stroke, you must make all efforts to go back to and the five levels of prevention. Primordial prevention, able to go to communicable and non-communicable uh, diseases. Uh, less salt, less sugar, no alcohol, no exercise, and mental health. Primary prevention, like diabetic, hypertensive, you need to take your medication, holy pills. And the secondary prevention, you have had the first stroke, you need to prevent the reoccurrence to stick your aspirin, propidobel, and mental health. Tertiary prevention, the patient is not early enough in the stroke unit, you improve the outcome, you reduce mortality, you reduce morbidity as well. And there's quaternary prevention, your choice of medication. I mean, to watch this, the worst organization, the Lancet Neurology Commission, they have marked some strategies to roll it back. Uh, population wide prevention strategies, and there's some app based institutional approach, and then of course, use of a policy and some behavioral risk factors. The public awareness needs to improve. A patient don't, 80% of our patient population don't come early enough to benefit from treatment. There's the misconception of uh, injection, don't take injection. I think it points out of the fact that polio my life, which is called Romalapa or Molesta, they confuse it with polio, which is required. So polio, no injection, but stroke, you can't take injection. And there are physicians who educate, uh, check up blood pressure, ECG, and most of that. They might develop a stroke unit, and going beyond that, they must be replaced for stroke rehabilitation as well as getting stroke registry, having stroke club, and then for I think I'll stop. Thank you very much.